I am going to snow blow a path over to my beater with a heater, also known as a plow truck. This truck was a purchase I made about eight, nine years ago. Bought it for like 6,500 bucks with the plow. It was from a county agency that it sat in a parking lot. It's more of a beater with a heater is what it is. And it's relegated to just like farm use, firewood stuff, and a little bit of snow plowing. Now, I am not gonna plow our driveway with it only because it takes up so much stone and we just put a bunch of stone in here this past spring so i'm going to hit this with the the tractor at some point using suvs so you don't really need to plow it right away but i do need to get a path to the plow truck so i don't get my feet all wet and i'm going to do double duty and make a pass along our vehicle that my kids use and hopefully clear out some snow for them so let's get started <laughs> here is the offending beast it's an f-350 single wheel meaning it, it just has a single rear wheel and uh we're gonna see if she'll fire up and head over to the church and plow the lot is she gonna start oh yeah let's make sure our lights are working Yeah, we got lights. Log gonna lift. Oh yeah. Angles and everything. Well, we'll get that snow cleared off, you'll be able to see better. This thing has two manifold leaks. Like most, uh, I think this is a 5.3. There we go. A little better. Let's head over to the church to get that lot filed. Keep all the piles on gravel so that when uh, 
If it melts out, the stone drops to the bottom. Swing wide in this intersection here. In this area we have uh, about a four vehicle concrete pad i usually push that to the back and that way i'm not i'll do that by itself so i'm not putting stone on the back side of the pad that's that's the plan hopefully it works and i can also get kind of close to the entryway here church we don't have a big parking lot I'll tell you if you catch that uh, concrete edge of the plow you know it right there it's not quite as bad on this end I don't push piles hard with a truck if I need to move snow I go get the tractor and I got the Massey Ferguson sitting over here I don't use it pretty much for anything else other than the church. Anything we do over here at the church. So I'm just going to make a few passes along the, trying to work things over from the building towards the road, kind of pile everything on the, the one end, and I'm going to keep it in the parking lot um, only because I want the stone in the spring to melt out and drop into the parking lot and not into the grass. We've done years and years and years of spring cleanups, and it is a royal pain when you have to clean small number eight stone out of the, out of the yard. So let's get to it. 
shows up out here it's out here sometimes i'll make a trench and i'll kind of come in and i'll angle and then I'll, once i'm in the trench i'll just kind of push straight blade it using the edges of the trench as a set of wings essentially if i want to carry a lot of snow any kind of distance this lot isn't too bad so i don't have to do it that much on larger lots i do that quite a bit and it works pretty good that's hard to see probably I tried to wait this out because uh, we were supposed to, the snow was supposed to end by 6 p.m. And we're 6.30 right now and it's still coming down. It looks like there's a band forming out over the lake and we're going to get a little more. So I'm just going to hit it tonight and tomorrow I can come over and touch it up real quick if we get anything much more overnight. There you have it. One thing I do do that I didn't mention is I like to use one foot and I'm really not a fan of hitting a brake so what I'll do is going into the pile I back off the accelerator and let the snow uh, kind of slow me down and stop me thanks for watching see you on the next one